Hello, my YouTube friends. Today, I wanna show you an awesome audio trick that's gonna help you create a more dynamic live broadcast. This trick is gonna enable you to play music, video game sound, or even a video that will modulate its volume when you talk. It's called audio ducking, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set it up and how it works. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? Let me know in the comments. But if you are interested in tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, then why not subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. In this scene, I have a music track playing in the background. And as you can see when I talk, the music fades out into the background and makes my voice more prominent. So here's how we set this up in OBS. So here we are in OBS. And what I'm gonna do to set this up is I have three sources here. One is a media source. That's the video in the background. I'm not using any of that sound. So I've actually gone ahead and just hidden it right here. If I go to unhide all, you can see that media source is here. It's blocked. I'm not listening to it or using it at all um, just because it doesn't fit in with what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna hide that again so that we only have the two music sources that we're really working with here. In this case, I added a music source which is actually just music from the game the witcher and you can see it's playing at a pretty high level it's playing at almost the same level as my voice so how do we make sure that that audio is going to dip when i talk well what we're going to do is we're going to go into sources and we're going to right click on music then we are going to go to filters and you can see there are two different types of filters. You've got effect filters down here at the bottom and audio and video filters at the top. So we're going to click the plus in the one under audio and video filters, and we're going to select compressor. And I'm gonna just call this one ducking, D-U-C-K-I-N-G, which is what we're doing. And I'll click okay. And we have a bunch of stuff here that at first glance would probably seem pretty daunting. So let me explain what this does. The ratio is the ratio at which it actually removes the background sound. So it's how much it's going to actually reduce the volume of the background sound. And now I have it 10 to one, that really seems to work for me. Um, so I'm gonna leave that the way it is, but you may wanna reduce the sound in your background more or less. It really depends on you. So you're gonna have to kind of test this a little bit just to make sure that everything is set up the way you want it. So the threshold, this threshold is the actual place in your audio that your voice will be picked up and start to decrease the volume of the other source. So in other words, how loud do I have to be talking on this microphone in order for the audio ducking to start happening? Now I actually am in a pretty noisy studio. Sometimes we get road noise out there and that sort of stuff. And I don't really want my audio ducking to show off the road noise. That's not what I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this threshold and you can see if I stop talking for a second, it kind of settles in at about negative 50 or so. Um, I like to have my audio ducking set at around negative 35 because then if I get some road noise, it's not likely to be any louder than that. Anything over that negative 35 is going to be my voice from my main microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this threshold to right around negative 35 decibels. And that works for me. You're gonna have to mess around with these settings, like I said, for what works in your environment, your microphone, and your studio. And of course, the music that you're listening to. If the music is particularly loud and aggressive, it might be something that you wanna adjust the ratio a little bit differently. The attack is the rate at which the audio ducking starts to happen once your voice has crossed the threshold or the source that you're using to do the audio ducking has crossed that threshold. So once my voice reaches that minus 35.1 decibels, the attack, the way it's set here, will start in six milliseconds or the actual audio ducking. Now I want that as low as possible. I want it to start as soon as it recognizes that my threshold is over that 35. So I'm gonna turn this all the way down to one millisecond. The release is how long OBS is going to wait before it starts to raise that volume again after you've finished talking or your source is finished. And you don't really want the release to be super short. 
And the reason why you don't want the release to be super short is because then if you take a pause in between a word or two or something, the music's gonna go up and it's gonna sound really strange. So 60 milliseconds is definitely too short. Usually right around 350 milliseconds seems to work for me. But again, this depends on the style that you talk in. If you have a lot of long pauses and things like that, then obviously you're going to want to make sure that you set this for longer pauses so it's not throttling up the music in between your words or anything like that. And output gain you can just set as exactly the same because from what I noticed it just confuses things and it doesn't really do anything that's productive to what we're trying to do. Everything you need to know is ratio, threshold, attack, and release. And then the last piece is this right here and this is the source that you are going to be using for your microphone. In my case, I'm using a video capture device for my microphone. You can see it right here. So it's going to take that video capture device and it's going to use that as the threshold for the audio ducking. And so when I click close, so you can actually see this in your monitor down here. When I am talking, the music volume goes down. When I stop talking, you can see the music volume goes up. And a few moments after I stop, it restores itself again. So now let's hear what this actually sounds like. I have no doubt that you can see how easy and effective this is to set up. So if you wanna have background music playing while you're live, or you have a game playing in the background, or you're even just live streaming a game, or you're doing some sort of a video review or something like that, this is the easiest way to set up audio so that it just works right. And everyone can easily hear your voice, but you can also have that music or whatever playing in the background. This is really, really an awesome trick that can help take your live streams to the next level. And it's so easy to set up. If you're having audio problems with your live stream and you just can't seem to figure them out, you should check this video out right here. Hopefully it'll help you. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.